Hi guys, welcome to Homa's Diary. Today we are making pineapple fried rice. It is super easy to make. You can get it done in less than 30 minutes. Add your favorite protein to make it a complete meal or skip it and make it as a vegetarian pineapple fried rice. Let's take a look at the ingredients. You can take a screenshot of it or see the detailed recipe in the description box. For making fried rice, we need cooked and cold rice. Best time to use the leftovers. For making white rice in the instant pot, I have given the link below. Do check it out. Looking for more instant pot, electric pressure and air fry recipes? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every week. Press the saute button. Add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. You can also use coconut oil, it goes very well. Once hot, add shrimps and saute it for a few seconds. Add a teaspoon of vinegar and a teaspoon of minced garlic. Saute the shrimps and then transfer it to an empty plate. If you like to add eggs, pour at this point and cook until the eggs are scrambled or lightly set. Transfer them in an empty bowl. Add a teaspoon of sesame oil half a cup green beans, half a cup peas, half a cup carrots. You can also use the frozen bag. Half a teaspoon curry powder, half a teaspoon finely chopped Thai chili, just to get that authentic Thai flavor. Now add a tablespoon of soy sauce or fish sauce, half a teaspoon salt, a teaspoon of sugar, half a cup scallions. Now add cooked and cold rice to the pot. Add about half a cup of chopped cilantro, half a cup pineapple chunks. I am using fresh pineapple. You can use canned as well. Add shrimps back in the pan. Stir well until everything is well combined and all the rice is fully coated with sauce and veggies. Give it a test and add just salt and pepper according to your taste. I highly recommend using fish sauce. It takes your ordinary fried rice to another level. If you like some crunch, add cashew nuts or peanuts. If you like it spicy, add some sriracha sauce. Customize your fried rice the way you like. I hope you like the recipe. Do try it and leave us your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.